Hey guys, Rick from FOP Family here. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this Don Diablo style drop. It will sound like this. So first, let's dive into the drums. So first we got a kick with a clap. We don't have any effects on the kicks and the clap. Then we got it every fourth clap. This other clap. That's a clap with a bit of reverb on it. And then we have some focal tones. This one at the first. This one. And that's it. This gives some more groove to the drums. And the last thing we have is this drum fill at every four bars. This will give some variation. But the second part of the drop is this drum loop edit. This will give some more groove. So that's it for the drums. Now let's dive into the bass line. So the drums and the bass sound together like this. So first, let's dive into the sound design of the sub. It sounds like this. So now let's design the preset. So open up a new serum. Select in the preset. So fast A and an sign. Lower down one octave. Same for oscillator B. Lower down two octaves. Enable the filter. Put the drive. And the fatness. Throw on here. That's some on legato. That's some portamento. Just make it slide a bit. And then add some release. Just like this. And then enable some effects. So first hyperdimension. Lower down the mix for the hyper. And put up the dimension. This will make the base a bit wider. Then some distortion. Some soft clip. So the post EQ to run here. Then some chorus. Lower down the mix. Mix a bit wider as well. And then to finish it off, some OTT. So it's like motor band, put it with the gain. And lower down the highs. Because it's a sub bass. We don't want any highs in it. And that's it for sub. Now let's dive into the main bass. So let's make the main bass. We got this. So open up a new serum, stack in the preset. So fast the A, we're gonna use the basic shapes. Around here, let's take a sink. And put it around here. Just like this. Lower down one octave, enable the filter. Low 18. Then enable oscillator B. We're gonna use the basic MCB. Lower down one octave as well. Put the genesis. Detune around here. Water to the filter. And then shape envelope 2. Lower down sustain. Bit less decay and some reverb. Then route to the filter. Just like this. Lower down the cutoff. Just one here. Put it the fatness. A little bit of drive. And select mono legato. Always. Put the Let's make it slightly bit more. So then dive into the effects. First of all, the reverb filter. This will shape the sound. Cut off around here. And lower down the mix. Just like this. Put the resonance a bit up. Just one here. And then EQ the sound. Select the low cut because you already had a sub covering the lows. Just like this. And put the gate of the highest bit. That's a hyper dimension. Mix one here. Put the mix for dimension. This makes a bit wider. Now some chorus effect. 
just like this. Then add the OTT. Put a gain around here. Lower down lows. Put a bit more highs. Just like this. And to finish up the sound, give some reverb. Put a low cut, because we don't want any lows in the bass. And lower down the mix. Just like this. Shave the filter a bit more. Just like this. And there we have the bass line. So now, let's dive into the Don Diablo style scenes. So now, let's dive into the last and most important Don Diablo style scene. It sounds like this. So let's design a preset. Open up a new serum. Sounds like this. Stack in the preset. So for us the A, we're gonna use the saw wave. And then with the filter first. So put up three unisons, lower down the tune, and then enable oscillator B. We're only going to use that for FM modulation. So select a square wave, put up an octave, and put up seven semitones for a more harmonic sound. Next, like FM from B, and shape out for one like this. Right to the FM, to around here, and right as well to the level. Set the trigger, and right to the cutoff. Set low 24, put it right a bit, a little bit of fatness, and then dive into effects. So first of all, hyper dimension, lower the mix, the hyper. With dimension, and some distortion. We're gonna use the diode too. Lower down the mix, and we're gonna add a one to the drive. Just like this. Then add some chorus to make it a bit wider, and to finish up the sound. Add some EQ. Put with a high gain to give it some more highs. A little bit too much. Just like this. And there you have to done the other style synced. So what we then do is create an automation clip of LFO and make different LFO automations. So just like this. And that's it for the Don Diablo style synth. So the only thing we haven't covered yet is this piano. It sounds like this. It's a house piano. We use the M1 and the Fado preset. It sounds like this. Then we apply some effects on it. So first of all, a low cut. There's some compression to catch the peaks. And some OTT that really shapes the sound. Some reverb and delay and some sidechain. So then we have discussed every sound in the track. So the final result sounds like this. So that's it, thanks for watching and if you've got any questions make sure to leave it down below. And also five, uh, a couple days before the contest ends we give, you, uh, we give the FLP for free for you to download. Uh, but that's at the end of the, uh, of the contest. And also because of that we are gonna give away uh, an Apple Studio license of the signature bundle also to the winner of uh, the contest.